Hey, hey, hey! What's up, guys? Nexi here. And I'm not gay. I just, I'm just weird sometimes. But anyway, hey, uh, today I got an MC4 video for you guys, and I'm actually, I'm hoping for that this will be actually pretty interesting for you guys. Um, I'm gonna be showing you guys all the information we know so far for my the next Modern Combat 4 uh, update coming out fairly soon, I believe, in the next month or so, or maybe even less. And I'm going to be giving you all the information we know so far. And all the information we know so far has come from the community manager, Candace M.A., on Twitter. Her Twitter will be in the description. Make sure to follow her because, you know, she's pretty much the number one source for Monarch Bet 4 update information. But anyway, uh, we're going to be going through some tweets that she tweeted out um, since even March 21st. And I'm going to be showing you guys all the information we gathered from those tweets. So, the first tweet over here shows that... Uh, Candace on March 21st, she received an update for the MC4 changelog and she was joking around that the Sharp Tech is going to be stay exactly the same but they're actually going to R nerf the that's just perfect grammar, they're, they are going to nerf the Sharp Tech finally so that's, you know, thank you God, thank you for finally nerfing the freaking Sharp Tech um, but yeah, it's pretty awesome that you know they're actually listening to us now um, in the next one um, the next tweet says that there'll be uh, Proto asked her how about knifing, you know, is the knifing going to be changed? And she says it's going to be balanced some more. So as we know in the last update, they actually uh, decreased the range a little. Um, so maybe that's what they were planning they are planning to do in the next update. Um, because, you know, knifing is still kind of OP, but I think if they decreased the range maybe like half, it could be balanced way more. So hopefully uh, they, do, they do a significant change to the knife. Next tweet uh, says uh, that she can't tell us the date because, you know, it's not finished yet. They're still working on it. Um, the next one's uh, she was actually asking about the, our thoughts on Manhunt, uh, on the score and limit, score limit and time limit and stuff, and if it should be changed in an update. And I think the reason she was asking was because, you know, maybe they were thinking of uh, changing it up for the ranked matches uh, in the update since, you know, the, the time limit, I think, was 10. But it takes, it, you almost never get to finish the Manhunt game since they're so long. So maybe she's been planning to change that. Um, and actually give your feedback about this question uh, in the comments. You know, maybe let Candace know and stuff like that. The next um, the next tweet she tweeted out was talking about spawns, the spawn system in MC4. And a lot of people had actually complained about this. And maybe she um, realized this and she wanted to be get some constructive, um, I don't know, advice to the, the developers uh, so she can you know convince them to you know change up the spawns and you know improve them and stuff like that because the spawns can at some points be kind of bad I mean I, I've had mo many many moments just spawning and dying just like oh my god uh, I just want to choke those developers <laughs> anyway uh, the next tweet uh, she actually talked to the developers and she said uh, that the spawns are supposed to be base spawns you shouldn't spawn at any location in the enemy's site the problem with this is if you're not in an enemy's site you know they might just come around the corner and kill you so I think what I propose is make the site uh, if Candace is watching maybe like make it so that there's no look like the enemy can't see you in sight but they can also have to be within like 20 yards of you or something like that make a requirement of some sorts like that um, and she also got a new change log on actually on April 5th. Um, she's saying that there's going to be lots of nice stuff coming in the update. And this is the big one. This is the thing that most people are excited about. Uh, this is like the highlight of the whole thing. If you're still watching, and you know, then good for you because you're going to be one of the only people probably to notice since a bunch of people usually don't watch up to three minutes into the video. But um, uh, she, um, the developers, uh, updated her. So the sniper rifle at next, next MC4 changelog will be getting buffed. I'm actually not sure. I'm pretty sure it's going to be the single shot rifle, the X6. Uh, but it all could also could be the uh, E24, uh, E24SR. I forgot what it was called. But it might be the second sh uh, sniper rifle where, you know, it takes two shots. Maybe she made a one shot actually now, which would be freaking awesome. Kind of OP, personally, probably. Um, but it's also awesome that, you know, they might upgrade uh, or buff the actual first sniper, so that'd be pretty cool. Um, uh, somebody actually asked Candace if they could remove the Sharp Tech and the grenade launcher and stuff like that, and she says won't be removed, they'll be all nerfed, or most of them nerfed, or one of them nerfed, I'm not sure, in the update, so uh, we could be looking to the nerfing of the Sharp Tech and the nerfing of the rocket launcher, so that'd be pretty freaking sweet. Um, uh, she also tweeted out that she knows that the best way uh, of basing the leaderboards off XP isn't the best, um, but that's the only at the only moment it's the only way to you know put it on the leaderboards, make the leaderboards, um, since the advanced leaderboards are not available yet. So 
that's pretty interesting. Um, and it will also be actually showing, and uh, the website's name is actually modern-combat.com or .net, I'm not sure, I'm, I'm going to leave the, uh, the link in the description for you can check out the website yourself, because Candace says that she'll start showing info on the update on the, on the site soon, so um, if you're looking forward to the uh, update information, you know, go to the website, um, modern-combat.net or com or org, I'm not even sure, uh, but they'll be showing update information on there soon and I'll be keeping you updated on YouTube as well but if you want to get it first then you might want to subscribe to that so um, I think that's pretty much it guys um, actually there's another tweet she said um, I was asking her if I could make a video about this actually and she went to double check if all the information about the, you know the Sharp Tech being nerfed and the sniper being buffed if it's true she confirmed that the developers just I, I feel so special like just for me oh my god thank you girl thank you so Candace your swag is over 9,000 and I'm very thankful for what you did for me and for the whole community uh, for that matter but she says that both are confirmed so for sure we're getting this for sure um, we are going to get the uh, Sharp Tech nerfed and the sniper rifle buffed or one of them anyway but um, I'm still going to address one little thing people need the iPad 4 lag to be fixed because you're gonna lose I think Candace or maybe the developers watching you're going to have a lot of problems you know with the ratings a lot of people are gonna be mad this you know customer satisfaction is gonna be really low if you keep those new gen devices you know the new devices people are playing on um, you know not working just you know there's just been problems with the iPad 4 lag and the iPhone 5 lag, all the new devices. The A6 uh, chip lag has been just terrible. Or is it A6X? I'm not even sure. But I recommend that you guys fix that for Mark Red 4. Otherwise, even if you get all this good new stuff into the update, um, then you'll still have a lot of problems uh, with people. And, you know, you might get low ratings, which, not, which, not, which would not be good. Since people, you know, base a lot of their purchases off the ratings of the video game. Uh, but that's pretty much it guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, I hope you guys found it informative. Uh, now you guys know something a little bit about the update if you guys don't follow on Twitter. And if you don't follow on Twitter then I recommend you guys follow me and Candace MA and even Beanage Gamer. I'll leave all the cool people, uh, well not all, all the cool people because there's like millions of cool people on Twitter. But I'll leave uh, the links in the description. But that's pretty much it guys, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, found informative and stuff like that and yeah that's pretty much it thanks for watching guys leave a like if you enjoyed the video and found it informative and uh, nice thumbs up and tell me in the comments if you want me to make uh, other videos based on the update whenever I can stuff like that but anyway that's pretty much it thanks for watching I'll see you guys in the next video and barrel touch Bye. 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 John Stalin here